I know it's 5 o'clock in the morning. We will be dropping every day of your life at 5 a.m. DJ Spoo Live. Greatness grows through pain. When you're going through pain, you're not being punished. You're being refined for the next position that you're going to. For the vision that you are pursuing. When you're going and pursuing greatness, you're going to have to go through pain. You're going to have to get used to pain. Different types of pain you're going to experience. Some pain might come from your family. Some pain might come from your friends. Some pain might just come from um, potential clients, potential business partners, potential suppliers, potential people that are going to give you opportunities. The pain might come through from your com community. Your pain might come as a form of um, different ways, man. People get backstabbed, people get betrayed, people get disappointed, people lose money, people lose family members, people lose their loved ones, people lose stuff. But as I always say in my other videos, everything you're going through, you're being prepared for your future. You know, nowadays people call me a pastor or a preacher, but I've always been like this. When I open my mouth, wisdom oozes out of my mouth. And maybe I guess also it happens with age. But if you go back to my albums, I've released eight music albums, DJ Swoo albums. You'll see on the album sleeve, some of my 2000s won't understand what I'm talking about, a CD sleeve. I used to look forward to buying my favorite artist or favorite musician's CD just to read the sleeve at the back as to those thank you credits. Which song um, is credited to who, who he worked with, who she worked with. And I'm just going to read that sleeve. Just that experience of opening up a brand new CD of your favorite artist, favorite musician, favorite DJ, and slotting it in for those of us when you had a car then at that time. But it started way before I had a car on campus. It started with some bundle of scale. And my first CD I remember was TKZ. Actually, I'm lying. My first CD was Magesh. Rest in peace. Tukolo Shabalala. The greatest Kwaito lyricist of all time. Kusheshe, that was the name of the album. It wasn't actually even an album. It was an EP. And then I bought the TKZ EP. And then I bought Sbu Maloy. I bought Amashamplan. I bought all the other TKZ releases. I bought all the Cheese Cop releases. Mandoza went on to pursue a solo career. I bought all of those albums as well. But that experience of opening up your favorite musician's CD. You guys won't experience it nowadays because you guys are streaming. And I understand it's your own experience. You guys are writing your own history. I'm right now speaking to the youth of 2050. Because I create evergreen content. This is the first episode. So every episode I'm going to do daily, 5 o'clock, you're going to bump into this video. Different videos. Me just sharing wisdom. 5 a.m. clubs. But you're a boy. And you're reading that sleeve and they're, they're telling you who they work with. They're thanking their parents. They're thanking God. They're thanking the co-collaborators. They're thanking the producers. They're thanking all the other artists or musicians that feature on the album. Just the smell of that CD, the smell of that, of that sleeve. And then you slot it in. It starts with an intro. I don't know, man, if I'm speaking to anyone out here. Youth of 2040, youth of 2030. Some of the people that are relating to this video, they are probably like Amadalas now. Some of them are Kokos right now. Because they come from my generation. I'm recording this on the 1st of June, the Youth Month 2023. And I want to say to you, greatness grows through pain. You're going to have to go through pain. You're going to go through pain. You're going to go through pain of your community judging you, society judging you. As an artist, you put in that album or maybe your favorite musician and you listen to some of the songs where they talk about their pain. They talk about some of the things they've had to go through even before they became the star that they are or the recording artist that they are. They share their story. I always say when an artist is releasing their first album or the album that blows up at age 25 or at age 24, whatever age it is, it has taken them 20-something years to write that album. Because a lot of them pour out all of their lives onto that first album. Go to any favorite artist of yours and listen to their first album. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to the pain they're telling you they've had to go through for them to even create that masterpiece of work. 
Go to any successful business person, sit them down, even those that don't want to speak in public, those that never share their story. If you can, take them out for lunch. If you can, corner them somehow onto a dinner meeting, not even a meeting, or a relaxed environment where they can share with you their story. It's a story full of pain, Wanakuchai. When you're going through pain, you are being refined. Everything happens for your own good. Might be even loss of a loved one, loss of a parent, loss of a partner, loss of a sibling. You are getting refined for your future. When you're going through it, you might not understand it. You might even think that people don't believe in you, people don't understand your dream, people don't understand you. But nobody's going to understand you in the beginning. Only you know your vision of where you're going. Only you have the clear picture of how your success looks like, of how your vision looks like. You can start recruiting people and selling them your vision, selling them your dream. Some of them you might pay them to come on board. Some of them you might end up slicing up some of your equity to get them to come on board, to assist you, to bring this vision to life. But they might never see you the way you see it in this head. That's why they call us crazy. Vele rasanya. You're not going to be a successful entrepreneur. You're not going to be a successful a pioneer, a visionary, a game changer, a rise above, a history books type of person if you're not crazy. Otherwise, you're ordinary. You're just like the rest of them. you got to be crazy. We're crazy, guys. We're crazy. Look at us. They call us crazy. Look at our NJM. It's even rough. We do things that are extraordinary that other people might not understand. We go to the streets and shout and scream, Hey, more fire, Baba. We get into the Olo parade. We sell them the more fire. The first black owned energy drink. It's called more fire. I want everybody in this plane to scream more fire. Because they're dealing with a different breed. They've never seen Takoso. They've never seen Krach Eso. They've never seen somebody with chutzpah. That's what we call chutzpah in real life. When you see it, somebody displaying it. It's, it's another type of confidence that I cannot explain to you guys. But you're going to go through pain. You're going to go through so much pain. Sometimes you're going to think there isn't a God. Have you ever experienced people who lose their loved one? They lose their partner. They lose their parent. They lose their sibling. Some of them, it even all happens in one year. And then you're like, is, is there even a God? Like, why do I have to go through such? Some of them even consider or they contemplate committing suicide because of the pain that they go through. Greatness grows through pain. You're not going to be great if you're afraid of pain. You're not going to be great if you're intimidated by pain. You're not going to be great if you think you're not going to go through pain. If it's nice, then there isn't pain. And such is everything, even at the gym. The more painful it becomes as you're doing those reps, whatever reps you're doing, whether you're jogging, you're a runner, whether you're lifting weights, whatever you're doing, the more painful it becomes, that's when it's working. The more hotter it is, that chisel, when they're, when they're sharpening that steel, the more it's working. The more hotter it is when they're refining that gold, that's when the process is working. The more painful it is with your life, with your experiences, with everything you got to go through that you're going through, the more the Lord's purpose for your life, the more the Lord's blessings for your life, the more it's working. Don't be afraid of the pain. Be brave. That's why other people they say, "Our silver strong, makwala a church. Who ever, 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 when you trip and fall, when you gotta move back to your parents' home, when you lose things and they get repossessed, they repossess your home. When you lose a loved one, when you lose things, you are not losing. That's when the Lord is at work. 
That's when the Lord is at work. But you got to be at work too. You got to be at work. You got to put in the work. You got to be consistent. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in your vision. You got to believe in what you're working on. You got to have purpose. You got to be consistently putting in work on a daily basis. There's no giving up, Baba. There's no giving up, Mama. As topic like me hassle my feet. Arasto people also baro not. As kiva pila. Aksiga mama ako laksem sabin. Sabi ang kulung kulo And his processes are different from how you would imagine them to be. Look at how your life has turned out. You are probably shocked at how things have just turned out in your adult life because when you were young, this is not what you signed up for. You didn't think it was going to be that tough. You didn't think that you're going to lose all you've had to lose. You're going to have so many doors shut on your face. You're going to be fired. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be cursed out at. You're going to be hated on. You didn't know that you're going to have to go through this. But hey, welcome to the world. Such is the world, Monaco Chai. Nobody's going to baby you here. Aksiga mama akula. Agna bantona bagin. Abantona bagin. Abazog zuelala. Bana bakuchin. Batu ukel lambo shuk. Kel fatimu. Batu batu jela mona, batu batu bua hampi, batu batu bua makakawen. Things will be difficult. Things will be tough. This is life, so you gotta be tough too. Bar batu, hey hey, life is tough, but so are you. Wana kochai. That's why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video for a reason to be inspired. The Lord said, click on this video so you get this message. And I'm speaking to you. Yes, when. When I've been going through the most and thinking there isn't a God anymore. When I've been going through the most and thinking what is your life turning into? Your friends are getting married. People are getting ahead with their lives. People are succeeding, posting their successes on social media. What about you? So I'm here on this video to tell you, don't worry, son. Don't worry, I'm going to go high. Kululeg, I'm going to go high. Unkulum kulu sem sevenzin. Unkulum kulu sem sevenzin. Guys, Mudimu is working on your vision. Mudimu is working on you, but you got to put in the work though. He's not going to put in the work if you're not putting in the work. Greatness grows through pain. You have to grow through pain to get to where you got to get to. And it's not just one pain, one painful moment, one loss, one rejection. No, it's going to be multiple of them. It's going to be multiple. Just when you think you've climbed that mountain, you get to the top and you actually even see there's even bigger and higher, more mountains to climb over there. You have not done nothing yet. You still have got a lot of work to do. Greatness grows through pain. And as you're about to approach all those other bigger, higher mountains, this mountain is going to yesela now. It's going to yesela. The journey is going to be a little bit better. You're yeseling now. You're no longer kupuging. You're no longer ascending. But then, when you get to the next mountain, it starts again. Remember, when things are great every time, you must know, don't over-celebrate. Prepare for the worst. Plan for the best, but prepare for the worst. And once you experience the best, don't think now you've arrived. No, Papa, nobody arrives. Because it means it's about to be nice. As, as it's tough, it's about to be nice. As it's nice, it's about to be tough. As it's tougher, it's about to be nicer. As it's nicer, it's about to be even more tougher. Such is life. You got to take it, accept it for what it is. That's how God created this earth. Greatness grows through pain. As you're beginning this day, as you're praying, as you're meditating, I don't know what routines you take in your life, and as you're watching this video, I will just like to tell you, there is a God. There is a Ntatemudimu. There is a Ramased. Unkulunkul, Utik, Umvelingang, Usonini Nanin, and Wahurat, Allah. Others call him God. They call him different names. He created heaven and earth. This earth, this world has been around for millions of years. And it's still going to be around for millions more years to come. And what has happened in the past, it's going to happen again. That's why they always encourage you to study history. That's why there is a book like the B-I-B-L-E. As some people have taken advantage of it and remixed it. And they've removed some scrolls in the past. They've removed some books that are missing in the Bible. And it's been remixed here and there. But it's a good book. That's why it's B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. 
understand that book, understand what it's saying about history, understand what it's saying about the past. But if you're black, you got to understand that those people that you're reading about, it's people that look like you and I. Understand certain scriptures that might have been remixed and understand that the greatness of this world is in you, Wanakohai. You are the great one. That's why the whole world is looking for your melanin. They do great things with your melanin. Your melanin is life. Your melanin is your superpower. Your melanin is your strength. Your melanin sets you apart from everybody else. Your melanin makes you the child of God, the greatest you have ever been. You are the most amazing people, person you can ever fathom. Like, you are probably operating at like 6 or 7% of your superpower. You are more powerful than that. Tap into that Nwanako Chai. But for you to tap into that, you're going to go through pain. Because greatness grows through pain.